Greetings, beautiful people, loving people out in the wild, if you love the wild. This is a little special. Sometimes we go out into the desert to report to you live. Pardon for the shadow, but the sun is in zenith right now. Not much we can do. Uh, so we got to live with it or stay away from it. Anyway, um, this is the special report about the Le Grand Synchronisation Positive Revivre. For those who speak French, mon frère. <clears throat> Let me break it down. It's about, and feel the environment. It's about things that are synchronizing right now. Things are speeding up, things are polarizing. Yes, there are things that we don't like so much. There are things, uh, let me move a few things here. This is uh, not so much, well, but I want the sound to be how I like it. And no mistake, we have a lot of wind blowing. I'm gonna see if I get this adjusted here. This is all live. Maybe this is a little bit better. Gives a little bit more ambiance. Um, look at the sky. It's like it looks like I'm on a movie set or a green screen, but this is this is the real thing. Just to show you, uh, this is. By the way, this is sage here all around. What you see, it's real. How real is real? So this is about the the great. How do I put it? The great synchronization for all. And what it means is uh, a lot of things are lining up right now that will synchronize. And I'm hopefully the wind is not killing my microphone so I can do this properly. It's blowing a lot. Really, really. So, well, try to figure this out. Looks like a little bit more quiet. You can hear me, right? Okay, good. So, good way to hide the mic. Synchronization, what does that mean? It actually means, and should the recording not be effective enough, and pleasing enough, I'll, I'll do it again, till we get this right. So, synchronization, it's now time for you to pay attention to what's going on on the planet. There are a lot of things happening and falling into place where people don't pay attention. We were forced to isolate, insulate. It's a uh, incension going on. Retreating home. Not being able to meet people. And... Being forced to think about self. Being forced to get into the nitty gritty of how do I deal with myself. Same thing goes for couples. For singles, probably harder. All your stuff is coming up right now. Everything is being handed to you. This is your life. This is what you've experienced. And a lot of things that you don't want to experience are being handed to us. But what is before us is success. It's also failure. What does that mean? And I read this to you from a Stasi perspective. You want to attain consciousness if you're interested in living life to its fullest potential. If you don't want to attain consciousness and want to uh, be in the mundane factor, stay there, don't care, don't mind, don't matter. Well, if it's matter, it must have weight, doesn't it? So it's to you now to realize what is before you. So things are opening up in the virtual realm that will help you to create and reflect from virtual worlds, VR, headsets, 
into bringing art into that, bringing art into the world. Then you have blockchain, Bitcoin, Ethereum, NFTs. These are buzzwords you should Google if you're an artist. Let your mind carry you where you need to be. I went into one space, just talking about how synchronicity, but people are like, oh, AI and everything is so artificial and, and we're going to lose ourselves. No, you're not. Because the synchronization goes through everything that is here in this sector of the galaxy. There's no escape. So I'm playing a song while I'm testing my virtual mixer in cyberspace. And I'm dialing into a room where people present their mixing skills just to observe with my avatar, which resembles me. And the guy plays the same song that I had just played. It's called Running. And I'm like, that's how, how is that even possible? Because there's so much music out. And my taste is so specific with Deep House and Dub Tech that you can't, I mean, I've yet to hear somebody playing anything besides the classics, but I'm like, that's my shit. So, we have a lot of activity, as you can tell. So, with this wind, which doesn't make it easy to communicate, but I'll do my best. Um, synchronistically, an alignment takes place like never before to help you to adjust to there are more things happening around you right now and you have to pay attention. If you do not pay attention, it's like kind of you missed the boat. Things are opening up. Love and feelings are opening up. Many reject that. Many, and that's just from an Earth perspective, the, the galactic perspective is like at the end of the day, everybody will find out what that actually means. In the, in the higher spectrum of fifth dimensional love is we love everything the same as on a level of intimacy to from a distance. And that's called unconditional love. Many run around and you know, they think you put yoga pants on, you're a spiritual person. Not necessarily. Like when in Rome, you know, that doesn't make you that. Um, and they propagate Kundalini training and Kundalini awakening. And energetically, you can tell from a distance, you're not there, you're not that, you haven't had it, because you can't act on it. And when you asked how they see love, and how they see loving people, and how they meet people, and what it means to be real, to be spiritual is actually to be real. To put your money where your mouth is, to do what you say, to say what you do. Do what you love, love what you do. Like, stick with that. And many use labels, and it derails them. And you're being synchronized and now forevermore being challenged by other beings around you that reflect to you that you're not living your truth so when you say i love unconditional i am love and light in essence you should be able to respond in love when somebody is loving but here's the, the kicker if the person is preconceived notion not attractive married in a ship relating to one another. All of these labels that you need to say, well, 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 well you, ha you are there and that's not what I like. And there comes the condition and there comes the lie within in that this is not quite unconditional. We're making conditions. We are wheeling and dealing. But you want to make conditions with, I don't know, an essential being that has love and shows that. There are no deals. Either you respond or you don't. And that is coming for all of us where it gets very uncomfortable, where we will be approached by that. And we'll see if we can, in honesty, say who we are or what we are not. And a lot of people have an impulse to act on something and yet they suppress it. This is where this uh, analogy comes in. You're missing the boat. If you feel like you want to get on a boat, get on a boat. Because the time is now, we're taking off now. Uh, the brakes are off. The supporting wheels, the tripod, no more is. Tricycle. Too much out of space. So you are now on your own. You have to walk that walk right now. And you now I'm seeing some stuff flying around. That's a part of me. This is uh, always an interesting sector once I have 
high tech nitrogen. I will show you what I'm seeing here. This is really insane. Uh, 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 not airplane speed. <clears throat> so, and I can't not run all the time, which is here all the time. Stuff is flying or glistening, glistening or reflecting in the mountains. Like, what is that? Where, where there's no hiking path, nobody is. So, back to the uh, synchronization. It means, let's say you attempt something and it goes wrong. You attempt something and it goes wrong, and you're attempting it again and it goes wrong. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to either uh, get into the flow or catch up or get into the groove of wanting to flow. That means it doesn't even synchronize. That means for you, back up, rewind, come again, and look at what flows. If something is before you that is upsetting you, you have to ask yourself, what is it that, it that is within me that I'm in resonance with, that this can upset me? Of course, nobody should steal your milk money. Of course, you shouldn't be this non-resistant hippie, you know, running around naked, I'm love and give myself to all and everything, take everything from me and you'll suffer. That is not the purpose of that, even loving. It's with consent, with intelligence, and leveling and balancing the equilibrium of feeling one another. That's what's important. And us sharing, us coming together in shared space, that's what's important right now. And that's what we're being faced with. And this is what's challenging. Where's my community? Where's my support? Support group? What's needed? How can we work together? How can we feature one another? Like if, if somebody has more power than the next, but you see you're both working the same, you can level that out and put each other on. I see some people do that, some people don't. Some people say it's necessary, some say it's not necessary. I say, feel into it what's right, and you know it, you know? You, you pull a prank on a baby by taking something away where the baby has the joy, the baby is going to cry, and everybody knows what they're doing out there. So your responsibility is now responsibility of self, knowing what you're doing. It is also the mission for those that are interested as a star seed to figure out what's your protocol, why are you here? And in, in, in readings, I give people an idea, an incentive, you know what I mean? An incentive uh, um, to clear up and clarify what race memory are you here to heal? From what galactic heritage perspectives are we talking that healing is necessary? See, people that are uh, occipital, back lobe, left brain, they're very logitech, they're very technical in, in things that they can repeat in systems to master. They're very good, but they're not intuitive. They're mechanical. How do you feel that or see or sense that? Is you give them a task and you see the task is done without any creation. The motor works, but there's you know, no psychedelic painting on the pistons. I don't know. Be creative. And right now, more than ever, it is about you to be creator, meaning be creative as much as you can with everything that's given to you and see how your creativity is being respected. Now, also, I realized as an artist, back then as a, as a, as a rapper and producer, I had people stealing my beats left and right, and, and I'm not making the money. I had publishing money that I, that, I, that I couldn't access, and everything was copied left and right. And now, since the digital age and you're being connected. So that's why I don't blame YouTube for censorship. Like if I'm an artist and you take my stuff and you monetize your video, how's that fair if I'm the creator of the content that you're using to enhance your content? So the balance is now that, yeah, promote those videos, promote me, and give me my chips. Um, and that's for all creative artists. Your original artwork shall be protected, hence NFTs, with a digital marker that can't be copied. That you are the sorcerer, the one that brings the source code of that creation here and that shall be protected. Since that is in effect, 
my publisher sends me money. I mean, I've written a couple of hundred songs. It's about freaking time. <laughs> I say, but it's like miraculously, I'm like, okay. Uh, now uh, I'm not at a loss here after like 20 years and stuff's coming together. I don't have to chase it. It's being checked. And the same thing goes for you. If you have a skill, and I'm not talking about trust fund babies, they do exist, spending your savings, mom and dad supports, you're in your 30s, you're still being supported. I mean, if I had kids, I still would do that, but understand the fact is like, what happens if your parents do not support you right now? Where are you in your dependence? That's reality. That's what we're being faced with right now. So I encourage you to step into your independence so we can meet interdependent and create great worlds. And as you see, the sky is blue, the landscape is open, land is for sale, we can still build. But can, I, can you imagine domed communities and crystalline towers that mitigate 5G and cables and wires and things you see behind me? We can do it. The technology now is here, more than ever, partially energy efficient. I wouldn't say free energy, but energy efficient, energy effective. Even with now motorbikes with batteries having a thousand mile range on battery right now. Isn't that fantastic? Shouldn't that be accessed more? Prices are being dropped. I mean, in my time, a drum computer was like, you know, two to three thousand dollars. Now you can buy apps that are 27 bucks that can do the same thing. You can be creative. You can upload stuff to Spotify. Like you have to be really against the system to not participate. This is a participatory universe. Looniverse, I almost said. <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm sane. I don't make no claims. I think I left my old consciousness somewhere in the old paradigm 11 years ago. And an ayahuasca trip where I realized this is all not me. Let's switch. That doesn't mean I have to dress like a hippie. I still dress like an intergalactic commander. I still believe that I am on a recall ship in a stasis body projecting myself from a future timeline back to this planet. Because every now and then I wake up over there remembering. And the more I do, the more I remember. That's also the training. The more you get conscious, the more you remember where you're from. And I think we all should be interested in where are we from, why are we here, and where are we going. Fundamental. And once that is cleared, there's peace. Peace on earth, as they say. When you are in contact with your oversoul, meaning the head quarters we call God, like the, the most divine, in essence, built and created soul aspect of you. If that is in agreement with what you're doing here, through the dimensions on down, you have a lot of good things going for you. Creating good relations, creating good reactions, good responses. Well, some people get upset when somebody does it right. That is on their karma. Meaning karma as in creating something negative will leave negative residue. Creating something negative does not always result in leaving the good. Dharma, some people say stack in the Dharma. Dharma is creating good information in the archives. And the archive is you. Despite the fact that the Alexandria library is burnt down, you are here. You are the offspring of what was. And you carry all their knowledge all the races that you've been before, all the incarnations, genetically, it's so vast. I just did a DNA test where your mind is blown to bits to see how many races are actually in you. I'm Tuscany Valley Italian. I am Chinese Han Dynasty. I am Dai Dynasty. I'm Gambian. I'm Punjabi. So what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm everything. Um, that makes me a rainbow warrior, a rainbow child, indeed. There's some, some water, a little bit of English there, there's European in there, Finland is in there, God knows, why, you know, 
uh, 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 that's in there. Um, I already mentioned the galactic perspective of that, but there's more. If you're really interested into, I recommend the keys of Enoch and the following books. These are activation keys of the biocomputer that is within you and around you in this holographic universe. And what is it to be a Jedi or a master Jedi or a mathematician, magician, knowing really what's going on? It's actually knowing the codes intuitively embodying what you need to be doing here on this planet and once you have that in the clear all gates of heaven shall open for you everything shall be revealed according to what is before you and that is called opening of the third eye and not silly things in weak-willed minds with silly ideas that never go anywhere you know who they are. Yes, it's time to be silly, but when you are serious, then be serious. Then be dedicated to the cause of what's happening in the now. And that's the Le Grand Synchronisation, meaning we are being pushed as the pendulum swings into the favor of many now. It doesn't swing into the favor of the undivine. And trust me, you can go to Zen and say the art of doing nothing and just sitting there. But if you don't plant a seed, nothing grows. So I agree more with Krishnamurti who says meditation should be your life. Uh, prayer should be the life. Not now I must pray Mecca, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, all, all the names you want to give the source, which is of the light. If you embody that, what you encant in a positive and divine way, that's the original model of prayer. And you have forgotten that. Is to really feel that what you are encanting and bringing it into reality. And the proof is that this will unfold into reality. It will become real. It will present itself for you to realize that this is real. And not a utopian idea of, I'm going to be an astronaut tomorrow, because that defeats the purpose of you fulfilling your duty on this planet. There are rules, ways, and mechanisms of how this universe is constructed to assist you. They say to conspire against you, I say conspire for you, like there are adjusting energies and frequencies that are in play that will serve you so you benefit from that to find out which is the way or the path for you that is so important and sometimes a random idea comes in that sends you into a random random place and you're like i don't even know why i'm here sit and wait like I go sometimes on hikes with people and I say, wait till the wind drops. Now wait till the wind changes. Now how you feel. And then people go, I've never considered listening, looking or feeling that in the big city. Because we chase our stimulants, our tea, our coffee, our alcohol, whatever it is, you know. But the little voice that's inside of you, it's very faint. It's a holy whisper. You can only hear when this gets quiet. I call it psychic turbulence. And when this gets quiet, you can see how you're being synchronized. How you're being weaved into an area where you need to be going. Sometimes when I do these things and I do these shows or do these recordings, I'm doing that because I'm something that says, pack your stuff, pack it now, don't even think. Oh, I haven't even had dinner. It's not about that right now. You're not going to die. Go. I'm just talking to myself. And then I go to places where seemingly nothing happens. And when I come back to the world, it's like, wow, so much has shifted and changed for me to realize and to see that that, what is unseen, can be made real when your third eye is open. When you open yourself up to the fact that things are happening for you by your design. Dr. Bruce Lipton said, 
everybody that you run into, everything that is around you is a blueprint of your subconscious creation. Everything that is not within your creation won't be here. So let's say, I don't know, um, some person from Baghdad that's going shopping right now is not here right now because in the reality that is not connected. So it's not here. Don't even conjure or make it so it's not here. Some people have so many storylines. Yes, the wind blows and confirms it. Why these drama things that are so far, they, they, they pass the hill, why they should be here because you need that drama right now. And I realized when I stopped them and say, stop, 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 stop. How about where are you right now? What's happening? And they begin to realize they are not really embodied. They are somewhat an imaginary version of themselves way out there. Projecting something that is non-essential. And in essence, for you to see what's what is to open your third eyes wide, to see the grand synchronization taking place. You are safe right now. You're not being chased by a tiger in a jungle. You're not a primordial Neanderthal dude or chick that's running and having to survive. Things are better. These are not the 1600s. Captain America is black. Who would have thought of that? <laughs> Things are changing. The vice president is female. Things that when this place was founded, nobody thought possible. We're living in the dreams of our ancestors. Never forget that. Your fathers, your forefathers and mothers survived. You are here. 64% of Americans are of German descent and a lot also Jewish, escaping the Holocaust. I'm half German, trust me, I know the story. It's been regurgitated over and over and over and over and over. We are all survivors. And that you are all here is a blessing. And I'm grateful every day for that I'm here to experience the development. From young to old, for whatever your choice and preference is, just as long as you don't make war, make love, find one another, have crushes, go through life, find it again, find yourself again, find the love within, find that what makes you, because you are a loving being, and you are loved. And like Bashar said, I say the same thing, and I said that even 10 years before, you're on earth, so you're worthy, you're here, it's a fact. And many have left, Many might leave. You can choose to live, choose love, not fear or out of fear, make the good choice and do it like Kirk or the Jedi said, we're here to make the better choice. We're here to better ourselves. And when people say there's no good or bad, there is a destructive path, there's a creative path. Pick your side, dark side, light side. It's not playing both to figure this out. That's still trauma. The light reveals what wasn't known before. I call it also the Eseraton protocol, from darkness to light, leading from unconscious to consciousness. The only way is up. Sky was the limit. New things and fantastic things are in the making. More are coming. And thank you for watching this. And hopefully the wind wasn't so disturbing as I leave you with a piece of nature. I love you very much, more than you know. Namaste.